So when Kennedy came to power, there was many issues facing him. Uh, one of the main issues was the whole Russian question. And because of that, he adopted a kind of brand new breaking from the past uh, away from the war machine, if you will. So what happened in 1959, Cuba was taken over by a revolution and the revolutionaries were Fidel Castro, his brother Raul Castro, and Che Guevara. There's a name everybody's heard of for sure. Unfortunately, when he took it over, he started to become pro-Soviet. And because of that, he started nationalizing things. He wanted to bring reform to the people, agriculture, that type of thing, land reforms. He was very popular with the people because he had overthrown a very corrupt government that was basically a puppet of the United States. And when he overthrew Batista, he brought in all these land reforms and he was very popular with the peasants, extremely so. Because of that, the United States again saw this domino effect about to happen in Cuba, 70 miles off the shore of Florida. And they were petrified about it. President Eisenhower still in power. He calls his vice president into the office, Nixon. Nixon says, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to overthrow Cuba. So Nixon reaches out to Richard Bissell, who's the covert operations senior for the CIA. Richard Bissell says, okay, well, I'm going to come up with a plan for you. Now, the assumption was because JFK was going up against Nixon for the 1960 presidential election. And the assumption was that Nixon was going to win and Kennedy was going to lose badly. Well, we know that didn't happen. It was a very close election. I think Kennedy won by 100,000 votes, the popular vote, and Nixon lost. Suddenly, Kennedy's handed this plan on a silver platter with Richard Bissell heading it. Now, Richard Bissell is very well thought of by President Kennedy, and this is something people don't realize that he was earmarked to take over the DCI spot, the Director Central Intelligence spot, once Alan Dulles retired. It was his way or the highway. As a matter of fact, so much so that Dulles really supported Kennedy, this is gonna sound very odd to you, supported Kennedy's um, run for election because he felt he could manipulate him more than he could Nixon.